Alright, so when I try to drag my video clip onto my timeline, it gets imported but without any audio. The reason this happens is because my A1 source patching toggle isn't selected, so go ahead and select that. I also recommend selecting the A1 toggle directly to its right so Premiere knows that you want to target editing the audio, which I'll talk about a little more later. Alright, and now when I redrag my video to the timeline, the audio gets imported along with it. To give you a little more detail on this A1 and V1 stuff, the A1 and V1 furthest to the left are going to determine what you can insert onto the timeline. So if I only have the A1 selected, it's only going to let me import audio on the timeline. And only selecting V1 only lets you import video, which I showed you earlier. You can only select one A1 and one V1 track from the first column at a time. The second column of V1, V2, V3, and A1, A2, A3, etc. are used for editing purposes. So if you only have the V1 selected from the second column and use the Ctrl K keyboard shortcut to make a cut, it's only going to cut my video and not my audio track. But if I select my A1 as well as my V1 and press Ctrl K, it's going to cut both my audio and video. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope this helped you fix your problem along with maybe learning a little bit about how the track selectors work. Thanks for watching and see you next time.